Hi friends, I'm Risa. I'm here to talk to you today about homeschooling and this introductory video tells a little bit about our family's history and how we came to become homeschoolers and what a little bit of our background and philosophies are towards it. Um, it is May of 2018. We are wrapping our 11th year of homeschooling this week and my daughter Elena is 15, finishing up ninth grade. My son Kai is 13, finishing up 7th grade, and our youngest is Zane. He is 9 and finishing 3rd grade. So Eric and I have been married 22 years, and 11 of those, so half of them, have been spent as a homeschooling family. We had uh, several decision factors that went into that as we were getting started. Um, one was that um, early in our marriage, we were part of a church that probably had about 90% homeschool families in it. And we being newlyweds and no children and still in grad school, were amazed at these kids and their personalities and then the way they were able to converse with adults. And then just as the years went by, just um, really fell in love with them and um, they just helped us see that God was leading us down the same path. The second thing was that Eric is a very intelligent person and when he was in public school was um, bored. And so we wanted to be able to have something where we could customize our curriculum for the kids. If they needed to move up in something, we could do that easily. And same with if they needed extra help, we could um, do that on our own and make those evaluations without having to have the school control that. Um, the third thing has to deal with just me. Um, I like a challenge. I like to be a little bit outside of the box. And even though the homeschool community was already well established by the time we started, it still gave me something to overthink about. Um, I'm a little bit of a control freak, so I like to read anything and everything I can about, ooh, let's try this, or let's try this, or let's do this, and it um, becomes something fun for me to do. I'm also on number seven on the Enneagram inventory, so if you're familiar with that, you'll know that sevens are traditionally a little scattered and like to try all kinds of fun things. So those are some of our decision factors. That helped us know as soon as Elena hit preschool that well we were going to do this at home. I had a couple of great mentor moms at that time, um, Pam Dumlop who is a relative of ours and Maria Jones which was one of my best friends. Both were so helpful in giving us curriculum to use, helped me from becoming overwhelmed because I knew my tendencies and my personality would lead me down that path if I just dug in and started going to curriculum fairs or anything like that. So. They graciously gave me hand-me-downs, and I took those, and we um, used Elena as a guinea pig, basically. <laughs> and so she got to try all different kinds of things the first few years of homeschooling. Um, later on, Amy Anderson became a friend of mine, and she um, began to shepherd me and lead me towards a Charlotte Mason philosophy. And um, trying all these different things early on in our homeschooling life um, led me to become what I would define as an eclectic homeschooler with a Charlotte Mason leaning. So um, those are some tag words that if you haven't been in the homeschooling community much or yet, um, much yet I guess would be the best way to say that, um, you'll start hearing all these uh, words like Charlotte Mason, wh who's that, and wh what is a, a philosophy, and what does this mean, and um, anyway, all kinds of goodies that you get to find out about. Okay, um, other thing I want to talk about history-wise is what kind of curriculum we have used and what our goals have been using this curriculum. My kids are coming down the stairs giggling at me making a video here. Um, two of our main goals for homeschooling that Eric and I set um, back in the beginning were um, one, we wanted to teach from a biblical worldview. We are conservative Christians and um, just really like being able to have um, that biblical worldview be threaded and lined through most of our subjects. And number two, we also wanted kids who are able to think, um, think for themselves, um, be able to question things and use their power in their gray matter to actually apply themselves to make wise decisions by the time that they are hopefully 17 or younger, <laughs> we hope. So um, in order to achieve those things, we tried a lot of different things that were on the market. Um, Curriculum-wise, we have tried open-and-go box curriculum, like My Father's World and Heart of Dakota. We have tried schooly type, I would say, for lack of a better term, like a Becca book, Bob Jones, Apologia, more textbook-based, I guess might be a better term. Um, Not Grass is another one that comes to mind. We have tried um, several living book or Charlotte Mason type plans um, from Simply Charlotte Mason. Um, we've used Master Books, The Good and the Beautiful, 
um, we've gone to co-ops, both through our local homeschool groups and um, fringe rogue homeschool groups that I've just somehow found and <laughs> gotten in with, um, and also attended academies. We've gone to one specific homeschool academy one day a week for the last 10 years now I've had a child there, or more. And then um, we've also tried video or online-based curriculums for different subjects. And then um, finally, um, when you look at a whole year planning, um, a lot of our years have been just creations of my own, or what I would call like a DIY plan, where I've taken elements from each different type of philosophy or approach and just tried to find the best fit for the individual child for that year. And that's really a lot of fun to do if you like to do the planning and things. Um, sometimes when I would do the open and go box curriculum, I'd get, feel a little strangled. And if anybody talks to me in person, you know I'll say that I like to stab or tear up my grid that's telling me what I need to do that day. Anyway, um, hopefully this gives you just a nice little broad overview of what I've tried. And maybe you'll have a feel uh, one way or the other of you want to watch more of my videos and see what I'm going to talk about or not. <laughs> so... Um, I'll try to address some things like specific curriculum that I feel is very well done and well suited to my family and that I would recommend to beginners or um, I might talk about some that weren't a good fit for us and why because just because they didn't fit and I didn't like them or I didn't like them um, doesn't mean that they might not be a really good fit for you and I really feel that God has led me to try all these different ones at different times um, not only um, to help identify my kids' strengths and weaknesses, but also he's allowing me then to use those experiences to help mentor other young moms who are um, jumping into this world head first. So anyway, I hope these videos help you all out, and I wish I could sit down and have tea with each of you, but maybe we'll squeeze that in another day. I'll see you soon. Thanks.